Yo guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to Aoa.com for sponsoring this video. Aoa is an awesome multi-platform site where you can buy yourself some cheap keys, crates and items. Use the code EJU for 3% discount and check out. The link will be in the description. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here bringing another Rocket League video and today guys, I'm going to be showing you everything that I want to see changed or come new in Rocket League of the year of 2019. Now, 2018 was an awesome year for Rocket League um, in the way of I built my um, items up a lot, I increased my rank, uh, I've had a lot of fun with the streams, there's been a lot of fun, interesting updates, that are introduction of the Rocket Pass and everything. But today, guys, uh, I want to go on with what I want to see in the future and what I don't want to see and things like that. Um, so the first things we're going to start off with guys, the first thing I don't want to see is you guys getting uh, scammed. So I've made a plenty of videos about scamming guys, which is all on my channel. Uh, they're just a click away, you type in Ijubu Rocket League Scam, it will come up plenty of videos. Uh, which will show you anywhere from color changing to uh, the RLCS uh, fake fan reward drops, which um, you probably would have seen. I'll actually show you like a little bit like of either a screenshot or a video just here. As you would have seen there guys, yeah, that's what they send you like in a PlayStation message and they get you to log in and they steal your account info and everything. I've had a few people have fallen um, victim to that, so yeah, please be careful. Of course, we've also got the uh, color swapping scam, which we all know how people like change white octane for gray. So yeah, just remember when you're in a trade guys to always double check that they don't change the color. They'll always try and like um, distract you with things and say, yo, do you have this item or anything? But yeah, so that's my first New Year's resolution for Rocket League is for none of you guys get scammed. I got scammed last year as well for a few keys, but um, I've learned from that mistake. I only use uh, Qualified Middleman now for any trade that I can't possibly do. Alright, so now the next thing that um, before anything, anything, before I get into any updates, anything, the first thing I want done in Rocket League is I want things fixed. Like... The game is absolutely completely broken at the moment in the aspect of trading a lot as well. Like, uh, so like, um, I'm going to show you this clip right now of a glitch. Uh, so yeah, just check this out. Yeah, so as you would have seen, guys, if you put um, too many keys in, or too fast or anything, it just glitches and immediately kicks you out of the game. Now, uh, also, there is a glitch at the moment. If you try to do a trade with over 90 keys, it is 100% going to fail every single time. It will not work. Uh, so, yeah, Rocket League need to fix that as soon as possible. Another thing is just trading in general. Like, there's a lot of uh, trade fails going through. Like, they cancel. Especially if you like open like an item I go to like if I get like a rocket pass item from the rocket pass And then um, I go to trade it straight away. It's not gonna go through until the third or fourth trade It's it, it sometimes might go through on the first or second time if you're extremely lucky, but yeah It's uh, completely and absolutely broken. So yeah, uh, the first thing I 100% want to see fixed uh, In Rocket League of 2019 is the trading. Yeah, like I said the trading is broken also, there's a few glitches with visual glitches on the apexes. There's um, obviously some gameplay issues with um, there being really laggy servers. The lag has gotten really bad in the games. Like, I don't know if they've moved their servers or what, but I used to sit around 200 ping when I played US West with you guys, because I'm from Australia. Uh, and now I'm like around like 260 ping, so I don't know what happens there. It's definitely not on my end. My internet hasn't changed. If not, it's gotten better. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, the only thing I can suggest, guys, if you get lag with the game, is if you go into your interface, uh, you can turn off your um, quality indicators so you won't get those stupid red pop-up and orange pop-ups on your screen. So you can definitely turn those ones off. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much the negatives. The only other thing that really happened was they changed the um, 
the crate animation, which I sort of missed the old one, but I can understand why they had to change it due to like gambling reasons and sort of stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that's basically all the negatives, guys. Uh, now more into the positives. Uh, what I'd like to see in Rocket League this year. So definitely, the first thing I'd like to see, uh, we'll talk a bit about trading. What do I want to see with trading? So I definitely want to see things implemented where um, when you're actually doing a trade, you know how you can see all the colors now all the time? I want it so you can see all the certifications. So like if you put like more than I think six or eight items, it disappears and you can't see the certs. I want it so you can see the certification on every single one. And the other thing which I missed out on the glitches before is where... Ah, I forgot this, so we're going back to the negatives for a second. They need to fix up the trade-up system. So, like, I don't know if I'll be able to do a prime example right here. We'll try to do, like... If I try to do, like, a trade-up, guys, like, say, on a car, sometimes it glitches. I, if I just... I'm just going to start clicking on random items, and hopefully it'll work for me. Uh, and sometimes it would just only show, like, um, that particular, like... Instead of showing that particular group of items from that crate, it will show everything. So, like, if I go to, like, this... Hmm, well, it's not doing it for me. When I actually need it to do it, it won't do it. It's it, particularly if you do it with, like, something which has multiple. So, like, if I go, like, two data streams... Uh, see how it glitches or impact crate? How can an impact crate be traded up with a non-crate? You know what I mean? So that needs to get fixed. Yeah, but like I was saying, like, in a trade lobby... I want to see it so it shows all the colors and all the certifications when there's 24 items. Um, and also with the glitch, how like, I don't know if I've got the glitch at the moment. We can have a quick look. Um, so we, if we go to an actual item that comes from a crate, like a wheel. Uh, where are we? So like, yeah, these are showing with the crate, but um, sometimes they don't show. Like, it, it won't tell you the crate. It will just be glitched, so they need to fix that as well. But yeah. Yeah, in trading, I want to see the, um, where they add the aspect of being able to see the certification. Um, yeah, besides like the fixes with trading, trading's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I can't really see what other uh, differences they can make to it. Like, maybe they could increase being able to trade more than 25 items. Maybe increase it a bit more so we can do, don't have to do multiple, multiple trades. But yeah, definitely fix it so we can at least trade up to 200 keys. Um, but otherwise, I'm super duper happy. Um, in the with the rocket pass and that, I really enjoy the rocket pass. I think it's really good. Like, um, so like, yeah, the rocket pass is great. Like, um, they should just continue keep doing it. Where how they locked the items the last time in the first 70 tiers was strange, which is a bit unfair for some people who can't afford to buy the premium and stuff like that. Anyway, but like, you know what I mean, like. I don't know why they locked, I feel like they should change that, but at least um, I couldn't trade them away and then have to re-get them and stuff like that. Uh, the other thing is, I really want them to increase drop rates, like, after matches. Like, I always feel like the drop rates have been pretty bad. Like, obviously you're going to get an item afterwards, but, like, I'm trying to go for every certified topper in the game, as I'll give you, like, a quick um, squeeze of all the certified toppers that I sort of got. Yeah, I'm trying to go for every certified topper in the game, and a lot of people trade these up, so they're really hard to get. So, I really want there to be more drops uh, after games, like, particularly, like, certified stuff. Like, they definitely need to increase that, so that's one thing I definitely want to um, change. Um, I feel like the uh, leveling up system is pretty consistent, like, we level up pretty quickly in that, so I'm pretty happy with the leveling system. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much with the level progression system. I'm pretty happy with all that. Um, the other thing, so my personal goals in Rocket League uh, this year would be uh, with my rank. I would like to get up to diamond in twos and threes if I can actually go to the proper thing. So I'm casually, currently, sorry, at the moment, uh, plat two, uh, div two in both two and three. So yeah. Uh, Diamond 1, Diamond 2 is where I'm going to hope to be achieving. I'm not quite sure when the next season starts. I'm guessing late January, early uh, February. Alright, so now, obviously, the next thing that I definitely want to see in um, Rocket League, we'll get back to my personal goals in a minute, because I have a couple more personal goals, uh, is new crates in that guy. So definitely, they, they usually implement a fair few crates uh, every year. But the thing I wasn't too keen on, like, the golden egg was not bad, but then 
they kept following that, you know what I mean? With the golden pumpkin, which got, and it gradually got worse until the golden gift, which was terrible. Um, I feel like they should move away from that. I'm really hoping that this Easter they bring out like a, some sort of Easter crate. Obviously it's not going to be called the Spring Fever, but, uh, I want another physical crate like that. We might even get another normal crate before that. So yeah, I definitely want another crate. Uh, so with other crates as well, like if we go to Elevation, for example, they implemented, um, painted, um, decals, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but, um, yeah, it was definitely interesting and something different. Uh, so with something that they added into the Rocket Pass, guys, so, um, which I want to implement in Conclusive HD, um, touched on this in a video, is the Special Edition wheels, that they should add some sort of special variant. Uh, into a crate like see you can get special edition sprockets in that these are some of the best wheels in the entire game and uh, they definitely should implement something like this in a new crate where you can get a special edition of an actual like exotic wheel in the game so it could be like a um super exotic or something and it could be like a different complete color like the background could be like we've already got gold for exotic so i don't know some sort of rainbow colored or something for the background it could be like a super exotic uh, also, definitely, I've talked about this before, um, about the a possibility of being able to trade up the exotic wheels to a super exotic. So that's something I'd really like to see in the game, which I think would be cool and would mix things up big time. Yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, with the crates, I want to see more physical crates. Um, I'm sure they're probably going to do Golden Egg again, because it's been like a year pretty much since I've heard Golden Egg, which will come out in Easter. But... Hopefully some new crates and they mix it up and do some sort of special variants like that. I think it'd be really cool. And I don't know, maybe they could get like a two-tone colored thing where they could get like a double painted item where it's like a... I don't even know, I'm just coming up with crazy ideas now where like you can get like a crimson, a crimson titanium white where it's a double colored. I don't even know. I don't think that ever happened. That would just break the game. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm just getting too far ahead of myself now. Ah, uh, so the last thing, guys, I want to talk about the game is my um, personal collection of what I've been collecting and stuff like that. So I've currently collected all the cars in the entire game. As I can do a quick scroll, you can see all the cars and stuff like that. Um, I've currently almost got all the wheels. Uh, I'm only looking for a few more wheels. So I'm looking for some um, purple exotic Velocity. I'll show you what those wheels are. If you have them, by all means... Let me know in the comments section. So I need these in exotic purple. I also am looking for some painted ninjas uh, to complete the ninja set. Um, and then, which here's the ninjas right here. And then the last guys is the apexes. So this year I want to try um complete the strike apex set, which I know sounds insane. There was another a new cobalt striker that's came on the market. So there's currently four that is now known of. Three people that will possibly sell, so um, possibly as a full set. So definitely want to try achieve that uh, the strike apex set this year. I'm currently working on all the um, painter boost at the moment, guys, in the entire game. Uh, so if you got any painter boost, I'm going to put up the screen now of what I'm looking for. Here it is. Right here, guys. If you have any of those boosts, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Um, or message me on PSN. My PSN is EJU-BU. You can contact me on Twitter at EJUBU13 or my Discord. Um, I'll try to never put the link to my Discord in the description. Otherwise, you can get my link in the description when I um, of my streams when I stream, guys. But yeah, so I'm currently working on all the boost at the moment. Now, you guys know I'm a huge topper collector. I actually completed in the year 2018, just before the new year. Two full sets of every painted topper and antenna in the entire game. Um, I have a lot of doubles and triples and stuff like that. If I have triples, I'm happy to trade them. Uh, I usually do three or four for one key or so. Uh, and I've helped a lot of people complete a lot of sets. So yeah, if you're looking for painted toppers, hit me up, guys. 100 and trillion percent. And, yeah, and as you can see, we've got all the painted um, antennas and that. But yeah, I'm definitely looking for certified toppers, including the RLCS um, drops like... Uh, for example, if I go to some which I definitely need, like the Mount Champion guys, these are extremely rare. If you've got anything like these guys, let me know. I will buy them. I will offer keys and stuff. Uh, the gold explosions, I've been collecting like the normal gold explosions. I'm going to be collecting all the black markets 
uh, in the game, just the base ones. If I pick up some striker certs on it, I'm going to be super duper happy about that. But yeah, if I quickly go to this, I sold a few black markets the other day to get a few keys and stuff like that. So I've got 16 at the moment, but I want to get like every black market in the game. Like the base ones, I don't want all the painted. Um, but yeah. Um, the trails, I'm not a huge fan of the trails. I don't know if I'll get every trail in the game. I don't think it would be super duper hard. I just don't really use it much. And yeah, so I don't know. If I do, they will end up being down the track 100%. And then all the banners, guys. Like, um, some of these items I don't own at the moment. One of my mates got hacked or something. They needed me to hold on to items. So, yeah, that's weird. I am worked that out at some point. But, yeah, I might go for all the banners. And then, obviously, well, them. I've got all them and stuff like that, guys. So, yeah. That's uh, my collection goals for the year of uh, 2019, guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much just um, what I want to do. I want to increase my rank. I uh, want to um, work on my collection. I definitely want to um, like um, get some new crates. And yeah, I want to bring awesome content to you guys. Like, um, yeah, obviously I will stream every single big update that always comes out. I'll be doing my normal streams, always my giveaways. Like I'm a very active streamer, but I'm also going to be focusing on other games as well. I don't want to just focus on Rocket League all the time, but I will try to do Rocket League videos. I want to at least probably do like two Rocket League videos a week. Uh, it's just hard to come up with ideas all the time and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all my goals and everything. And like, yeah, don't want you to get scammed. And I definitely want to get all those problems fixed, guys. So yeah, guys, I hope this uh, video was informative for you with the scamming aspect and everything. And gives you an idea of what I'm looking for so you guys can go check your inventories and maybe earn some keys and that from it. But yeah, guys, uh, EJ's running out of breath. So yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, a like and a subscribe would be very much appreciated and until next time next video or Rocket League stream or either stream whichever one it is uh, I'll catch you later peace out EJ's out I'll catch us later see us